Okay, we're almost there. Let's see if our babies are grown. Oh, I see more horses. Oh, okay. Hello everyone, I'm so happy to have you back today. So as promised, we will be breeding today. And of course, we're gonna breed Gus in Mystery, but I decided I'm gonna breed more than just those two. I'm gonna breed four couples of horses. Isn't that amazing? We're gonna have four foals. I am so excited. It's been far too long since we've had a foal, so I cannot wait. This means I'm gonna need your help naming four brand new babies. So please, please give me recommendations cause I'm definitely gonna need it. I don't know for sure who else I'm gonna pair up, but I will figure it out as we go along. <laughs> Before I get started though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing cause I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, let's pick out our parents. So obviously we know we're definitely going to take Mr. Gus here. Oh, and you already have your halter on, so that's convenient. So let's come over here and you wait right here. Okay, and then he is going to be with Mystery and she also has her halter on. Perfect, so we'll put her here. Now, who else should we breed? We have so many options. Um, Venture, Meadow, Winnie, Ginger, and then of course, oh, you know who we could breed? We could breed Sky. That might be kind of fun. Oh, let's do it. We're gonna breed Sky. Okay, I believe I'm going with light blue for her. Kind of makes sense with her name. Come here, Miss Sky. We need to get a partner for her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just kind of pushed her out of the way. So let's see. We've got Magic, Domino. He's got that nice uppy coat. Riddick, Storm. This is actually Ginger's Colt. I have never named him yet. It's awful. Um, and this is a project from uh, Lemon Pie. Uh, he really doesn't have much of a history, but um, I agreed that I could take him and work with him. And then of course the hollow horse that transformed. We could always use him. I don't really know his story. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pair her with Riddick. I have not bred Riddick yet. So that might be kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny when they just get dragged like sideways like that. Oh, this is another new gift horse I got. And I think he is really cool. His name is Darkside and he is from Lily Jim. And apparently one of the horses I had given her when she first came onto the server um, had this horse. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so these two look pretty good together. Let's pick another couple. You know, we could always breed Magic and Venture again. And then Meadow could have a full-on brother or sister. That might be kind of cool. Let's do that. And then I believe I have a fourth stall available, so we could do one more pairing as well. I'm sorry, Jeff. You just need to hang out there. You can't come. Okay, and let's breed Domino. Who to breed him with? <laughs> it looks like both Meadow and Winnie are kind of poking their heads out like, I volunteer as tribute. Let's breed Winnie. Winnie has yet to be a mom. So that sounds like a really good, good idea. Okay, we have our pairings ready. <laughs> I'm really afraid I'm going to forget who I bred and then I'm just kind of breeding, you know, family members together. <laughs> I should probably start a spreadsheet because uh, I don't want that. Okay, so we are not going to breed them here. We are going to take them to the back barn, which I've kind of deemed as my breeding barn now. That may take a minute, so let me get them all settled and then I will get back to you. Okay, I've got all the horses here ready to go into their stalls. So we'll start by putting course mystery and Gus together because these were the whole purpose behind this breeding day and it just kind of turned into a lot more than that. They're gonna go in first. 
Hopefully you can squeeze through this door together. And yep. Okay, here is your lovely stall. Oh, I need to put down shavings. Shoot, I forgot. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Make sure it's nice and cozy for the little foal. And I guess before I bring the other horses over here, I'll do these stalls too. I wonder how high one of these can stack. I've never tried it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can have quite the stack of uh, shavings. Okay, we've got the shavings all sorted, and it looks like they also need water in here. I'm going to prepare that real fast. Okay, I've got my water bucket. And go ahead and fill this up. And then do the same thing to every stall. I haven't used these stalls yet at all, so they're technically brand new, which is really nice. Okay, let's bring the other horses in. Oh, let me edit this real fast. So this is gonna be Gus and Mystery. And then once the foal is born, we can write some information on the sign to let us know. Um, I guess right next door to them, we can put Riddick. Who did I pair Riddick with again? Oh, I actually forgot who I paired Riddick with. I'm going to just bring my couples in here and that'll be a lot easier. So let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. We have Venture and Magic, Riddick and Sky. That's who it was. Okay. I wonder what their baby's going to look like. Have more black like dad. Or more of a blue roan like mom. I wonder if it'll be painted. Ah, it's so exciting. I love to breed the horses. Good job, guys. Okay, now that they're actually in the stall, I can remember <laughs> who is who. So we've got Riddick and Sky. All right, perfect. Uh, we'll do Domino and Winnie next, and then magic and venture in the final stall. Can't believe Meadow is going to have a full sibling. I wonder if it, it'll look anything like her at all. It'd be really funny if it's the exact same coat color. Oh gosh. <laughs> Winnie just came in butt first. That was weird. Here is your guys' stall. What are you doing, Domino? Oh my gosh. Winnie. And Domino. And then, since I know the last stall, obviously, Magic and Venture. I was really excited for Gus and Mystery, but honestly, the Magic and Venture full is probably really close up there. Okay, guys. I mean, I get asked all the time, who's your favorite horses? Or who's your favorite horse, actually? And I, I tell everyone the same thing. I can't pick a favorite. I love them all, but okay. In all honesty, yes. Venture and Magic very much have a special place in my heart. And I think it's mainly because they were my very first horses. Magic was my very, very first and then Venture very shortly after. So, and then I don't know, Venture and I have been through a lot together. So yeah, that's the truth. I kind of do have a little bit of favoritism but I really do love all my horses. All right, everyone is settled in, and now all we need is some sweet feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some from the feed room, and we are going to start this a very exciting process. Okay, so here is some sweet feed. Let's have some foals. Let's start with stall number one. Okay, mystery, Gus, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, it's a gray. Oh, it's so cute. Look at those bright blue eyes. I wonder if this is gonna grow up to look exactly like Noelle. 
That would be crazy. Okay, but then again, I know that uh, foals do not have painted colors, so we'll see. We'll see when it grows. Now it's time for Sky and Riddick. Here we go. Ooh, what a beautiful little gray baby. So this foal looks exactly like uh, Dark Side that I just received. So that's funny. Again, though, we're not going to know what they look like until they are grown. So it's hard to say. Okay, Winnie. First time mom. Ooh. It's almost like a red dun. Beautiful little baby. So far, all of our foals are completely different colors, which is awesome. Okay, last but not least, I don't know if you guys remember, I'll try and find the clip of Venture's foal from the first time. And she was actually like that, looked exactly like dad actually, just like magic. So we'll see if it's the same here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, exactly the same. Yes, this is the exact same color that Meadow was when she was born. <laughs> Oh man, if it's another Palomino, that's going to be crazy. So all four of our little foals here are different colors. <laughs> that's awesome. We have all kinds of variations here. I cannot wait to see what colors they grow into. That's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and take all the dads out. And then maybe we can even put the moms together in the field for a little bit. That would be really cute to see all the foals together. So let's grab all the dads. Where are you at, Gus? Come here. Wait, where'd the foal go? Oh, there. <laughs> Hiding behind the gate. Aww. Oh my gosh, look! Sticking his little head out. He or she, actually, I don't know for sure. You are stuck on the door. Come here. Okay, got all the boys out. So I'm gonna put them away, and then I think I want to let all the moms and their babies. Maybe we'll put them in that pen over there for a little bit. I really want to see the babies together. They're so cute. Okay, let me see which one of these would be. These are actually for my cows, so <laughs> kind of weird for horse stalls. But let me see. I could probably clear some of this out and make a little bit more room for them. Look at them! Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> They're going outside and exploring. I am going to get out an anvil and name tag because I don't want to lose track of who is who if I do decide to put them all together. Oh my gosh, I just realized Meadow is now a grandma. <laughs> she's going to be a, wait, she's a grandma and she's going to be a brother or sister. Nice. Okay, everyone is tagged. I think we're nice and um organized here. So I realized halfway through this video that my resource packs were not turned on, <laughs> which is why everything looked so different. So it's like, oh my gosh, why does my barn look different? Why are my leaves not pink? What is going on? And now everything looks really pretty again, and I am happy. So sorry for the complete continuity error. That was my bad. <laughs> All right. So while we wait for the foals to grow, I am going to be refurbishing this area over here to make more sense for horses. So while I do that, I do want to answer a few questions that you guys have had. I've seen a lot of people asking about the Discord server, specifically wanting to get in. We have invites currently closed. I'm hoping that we're going to open them up very, very soon. Um, the reason for that is because we were getting a lot of new members. And there's only a handful of us handling the Discord, so it's a lot to keep up with. And that combined with whitelisting for the server and making sure that the experience is safe and family friendly, um, it's just a lot. So we're working really hard to train new people to help us out. And hopefully very, very soon we will have invites back open. I do love to meet new people, especially from my community, of course. 
and get to see some amazing art. You guys are so talented. So yes, um, not to be long-winded about it, but I do hope to have Discord invites open again soon. Same for whitelisting. Um, it's just kind of a day-by-day -day basis. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. I want to go ahead and bring all the moms and babies out here because I want to see them together really bad real fast. Even though earlier I decided, oh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm definitely going to do that. And then we're going to see them all grown up, which is the most exciting part. I can't wait. And the babies are so slow too. I mean, I guess they are foals, but still. Okay, there's one mama and baby. Let's go grab the other ones. Second mom and baby delivered. Oh, they're already so cute. I don't know what it is about seeing them together in a big field. It just makes me so happy. And we do four at a time. <laughs> is that asking too much? Let's try. We're gonna try it. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. I love this foal's color. <laughs> That's a lot of leads. Oh my gosh, this is never gonna work. Okay, wait right here. I'm sorry, Winnie girl. Come here. There we go. Everybody's out. Come on, moms. Maybe babies will follow. Very slowly. <laughs> And here are the last moms and babies. This gate's a little bit easier to get into. Okay, you guys are all free. Free to mingle. Oh my gosh! Mystery's foal seems to be pretty independent. Or she just really likes Sky. <laughs> and these three are just kind of playing together. Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> the babies are all getting mixed up on who's mom and who's not. Now Mystery has Winnie's foal. And Mystery's foal is just kind of out on its own. And then Ventures foals with Sky. <laughs> they're just kind of all over the place. It's gonna show a little bit of footage of these guys before we have them grown. They're so cute when they're little. So enjoy the footage of babies. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's happening right now. <laughs> I look like I'm flying. Um, this is really weird. <laughs> but I wanted to share this because, I mean, what? What is even happening? I'm like Superman. <laughs> this is really weird. So while we wait for the foals to grow for a little bit, Seth actually has an event that they're planning, so you can come with me while I go take a look at it real quick. Let's see what this is all about. Hey, Seth. <laughs> so it looks like Seth is planning a fair. Let's see, what does this say? So, oh, more stands, okay. This is gonna be so cool. And what is this? Looks like it judges seats. Oh, I wonder what's going to be over here. Here are the judges table and each judge can ha give an animal one to 10 scores. So the overall score is 30. Oh, okay, so judging animals. Oh, neat. Just like a fair when you judge pigs or... That is such a cool idea. And then you can rent a stand to sell your goods. Anyone that grows flowers or fruits or vegetables can rent a stand and sell them. So I don't know when this fair is going to happen, but I, for one, am definitely looking forward to it. And what a cute mushroom this is. I love her colors. Very cute. I think it's just about time for us to get back to check on our foals. I can't wait to see how they grew up. So let me go ahead and tell Seth bye. 
I will see you later. Okay, so let's go back home and check on our babies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Seth. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. It seems so rude. Oh my gosh, this is such a long run. <laughs> I think I need to add a teleport to the back area. Ah, forever running. I have made my ranch way too big. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see if our babies are grown. Oh, I see more horses. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Our babies are babies. Oh! Okay, there's another Palomino. I guarantee that's Ventures full. Hey guys! Hey Sky. Okay, let's check this out. Yep, Ventures full. <laughs> sure enough, a darker Palomino. Oh my gosh! Hi! Hey buddy! Let's get some leads and get these guys sorted. Okay, so we've got Ventures Full right here. Oh, what a beautiful horse. Okay, let's put you right here. And you are Skies Full. Okay. So you kind of look like Mom in the coloration a little bit. And let's see, Mystery, where's your full? Here is Mystery's full. Oh, I like the little spots. It's so cute. And then Winnie's full. Okay, so Mystery's full was pure white with the blue eyes. It is not the same coat as um, Noelle, so that's good. What are you guys doing? Hanging out with your babies? And excuse me. Excuse me, I am trying to admire your children. Can you not? Here. Come over here. Pretty girls. Stand out of the way real quick. Thank you. So, Venture, of course. Another Palomino. And this, to me, is a cult. As I'm showing these guys, please try to consider some names. Because we're going to need names. So, Venture's Full is a cult. Winnie's Full really cool markings almost like uh i don't know what this color is called if you could tell me in the comments i'd appreciate it this kind of looks like a cult to me too uh this looks like a mare i think this totally looks like a mare and she's really pretty i love this coat color and then of course mystery's full this could go either way. I think it could be a cult or a filly. You guys decide for me what these two are. And also, please try to think of some names. They're so precious. Oh my gosh. Good job, girls. And wait a minute. Sky, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't just wander off, you silly horse. Here, you gotta come join the party. Don't be lonely. There we go. So again, here are our babies all grown up. Please comment down below what you would like to name them. And then for these two over here, if you think they should be a mare or a stallion. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next week, I'm going to do my nighttime routine video because I've been asked that quite a bit. So that's next up for my plans. Thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, bye.